Hello everyone. I just had a quick tip for something that I was working on and I didn't really see a great answer for it or it wasn't easy to find so I figured I'd try and make it easier to find. You can see I have two kind of text block things emulating maybe like a visual HUD of like an actual mask over your face. One on the left looks a lot smoother than the one on the right. You can see a lot of kind of jaggeds especially on the the second bar that's there. I just kind of want to show you the quick way to fix that. So the problem happens with on the UI when you place the UI here, the way you kind of get that visual effect is you skew it. So you can see here on this render transform, I have it skewed. Um, and you can see on the left one, I also have it skewed and it looks jagged in this view, but it's in a retainer box. Um, and when it's in a retainer box, it just kind of fixes the jaggedness. Uh, you can see here that it's just not really there anymore. Um, it's kind of a side effect of some of the optimization stuff it does from what I understand. Um, but this is something that if you have an element that you just can kind of all contain in that box, it'll fix that jaggedness. It also has another side benefit, uh, which is that when you have it in a retainer box, you can actually apply effect materials on top of it. So if you had like a card and you want to make it like holographic or something, uh, or if you had a health bar that when it got low, you wanted it to pulse, you could do that with a material that you can just kind of put on top of it. So now you can see here, it's kind of flashing and pulsing and, and growing there. If you want a quick look at what that looks like um, on the material side, uh, basically what it's doing is it's just kind of, it's taking a time, convert to sign, and then using that to scale the UV up a little bit. And then it's layering between these two colors. And then down here is to make sure that you don't see repeated texturing of the material. But yeah, you can do some really cool stuff with this. Retainer box as a whole is kind of a, a cool concept, but I figured I'd share that trick. Um, there's one other trick, uh, which I tried to start using, but I couldn't quite get it to work the way that I wanted to. Um, you can kind of see it in effect here. On this UI element here, the edges are a bit blurred because that's just kind of how the image is. And that's the other popular suggestion you see online of how to fix this problem is going in and manually kind of blurring your edges to give them that alias look in the first place. Uh, that can be tricky and time consuming. So if, if you don't want to have full control over it, you just kind of want to get rid of this really clear jaggedness, you can just put it in that retainer box and you are good to go.